Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here bringing you guys a video response to uh, JSTAR25 and his uh, question with Jordan Brand and what's up with uh, D. Wade. And a uh, dope video, sh so shout out to, to JSTAR for uh, bringing this up. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have these shoes as the backdrop for my conversation. I apologize, I don't do face-to-face -face yet. Uh, but basically, you know, I, uh, I have a couple friends over at Jordan Brand and he was mentioning um, how Jordan Brand felt about this sort of situation. And I have to say, I had conversations with three different people and I'm not allowed to actually talk about unfortunately what we discussed but i know that um that they they're aware of it as as well so it's not like so if you guys are didn't see jstar's video i'm going to link it in the description but basically he's saying what what's up with wade why does he he not even wear his own shoes uh during the games that he plays he's on tv everybody sees him and you can see wade's just chilling there with uh with uh the 2012 jordans on and and he's, he can't even wear his own shoes so it's is uh, Dwayne Wade's shoes that they released uh, in Jordan Brand not even good enough for him to rock? And, you know, the funny thing about this conversation is I actually had uh, a video in mind to do something, but he hit it on a totally different head, which was dope, because it brought, like, new light to my eyes. Like, I was going to do uh, a video, and I'm going to do it right now, basically, is the Jordan Brand as a whole with the flagship model shoes as you guys see here, versus the team shoes that, that come out, or the, the non-team shoes, I guess the signature shoes of, of whatever players are. And, and that's my point being, is that back in, in the day when I, when I watched Jordan Brand uh, grow up, like as the shoe evolves and you see Jordan Brand go off on its own, they release tons and tons of shoes under the brand. The downside is they released all these shoes that were team shoes, and they actually were called team shoes, I mean, back in the day. And, and um... And you know, there's tons of different knockoffs. There's always going to be a flagship and there's always going to be the cheaper versions of, of uh, shoes that are out there. And I always looked at it like this, like Jordan brand, there's a flagship shoe that everybody wants and then there's the team shoes. So whatever else they make is just going to be a team shoe. And the Mellows fall into that category, unfortunately. The the, the Dwayne Wade's fall into that category. Um, the uh, what are These guys right here. I'll show you guys these ones later. Um, those, the CP3s fall into like a team shoe kind of category and they're, they're dope shoes but they don't they're not fly enough to to really really uh draw the attention to jordan brand that they need and and the other thing that i was going to draw a correlation to which he hit it again was how nike basketball is killing the game right now i mean with the, with the big three uh kobe lebron and and uh kd like those those are, are shoes that people are trying to get and they're making hot colorways and and good shoes and and I, I hardly hear any complaints about the quality of, of those uh, manufactured shoes. Now, I do have to say that my cool grades that I had, I ended up selling them on eBay because I just didn't want them anymore and I needed to uh, make room for some new inventory. And I sold them and the eyelet actually uh, on one of the shoes, there's no eyelet. So uh, the quality, there are quality issues there. They're just not talked about as much as the Jordan brand. It's like one of those hot topics. Everybody knows Jordan brand quality is is can be uh, mediocre sometimes with with what you're paying for because you're I, I think that there's a stigma to the to the uh, brand name as well anytime you talk about jordans you're talking about uh the 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 creme to the creme of of kicks you know what i mean so it's just like anything that, that's out there um n the number one thing is always going to get scrutinized the most um but 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 i like what he was saying about you know the competition's really stiff within nike i mean there's the big 3 and then in jordan brand there's a the big 3 but they're all they're all like mediocre 3 really i mean they're great great players and uh i mean he mentioned dwayne um just dwayne by himself but i mean there's cp's a dope player and and so is mellow and i have a pair of mellows somewhere as well some some china masks that are um some overseas only um but but basically i don't know you know it's an interesting interesting point and i know that um, when I talked to my, my friends over there in Jordan brand, uh, they said that they, they're aware of the issue and it's something that they can't talk about right now, but I'm just letting J star know that they do know of the issue, uh, of him, him not rocking his own shoes. And, and there it, it's, I, man, I just wish I could say something cause, cause it would be nice to be able to fill you in. But, um, but all I can say is that, that they, they're aware of it and there's a reason behind it. And, um, it's, it's not, it's not what you guys might think. So. But but the other thing that I wanted to mention is the Jordan um, the Jordan 2012s. You know I wish I had a pair uh, here to to break them down and show you guys because you know they have the three three insoles and then the high top and the low top straps. They're making them so they're all inclusive for all players. What what doesn't make any sense is to me that they're tailoring those to multi different players such as the different players uh, that are out there like the Chris Paul and and Wade and, and Melo and whatnot. Like it's like they're they're making their flagship shoe tailored to their to their big three almost it seems like to myself but then they have their own like shoes that that uh that are mediocre um 
And don't get me wrong, I like Jordan Brand and I like the the shoes, but I do know I feel like this as somebody that grew up with Jordan Brand. That again, there's that stigma to if you don't have a flagship, you have you have a team shoe, and nobody wants the team shoes. It's like the the lower quality version of a, of a Jordan. So. Jordan Brand has to, to compete with that, which is it's frustrating. And I saw some of the other comments and stuff saying that Jordan Brand won't let anybody else shine above his his shoes. I don't think that's that's necessarily their intent. I mean, at least that's my my opinion. I don't I don't know why they would make. I mean, obviously they put a lot of TLC into the 2012. They're marketing marketing that like crazy. And maybe you're right. Maybe it's a strategic plan that they need to work on and reevaluate so they can they can bring all of them into the loop and make their big three like stand out and. Maybe somebody should step up and and um, own the the team shoe. D Wade was that person before I believe he had his own signature. I thought he was the guy that was rocking all the team shoes, so, or I mean the the flagship shoes. So maybe they should have somebody just rocking the flagship anyway and not have his own shoe or something. I mean I'm not really sure uh, strategically what they can do. It's a, it's a very tough situation because in all honesty, no matter what Jordan Brand does, they're going to be scrutinized for uh for their for their changes and stuff. But anyway, I wanted to do this, uh, this, this video here and, and maybe I'll, I'll hit up uh, Jay star. I'm going to hit you up on Twitter maybe. And, 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 uh, just chat with you for a second about, um, about this, but basically it's just one of those things, man. It's, it's kind of bad. It's bad PR. And, and if they're trying to sell, uh, the shoes, like you said, they're not going to be able to be selling the D Wade shoes. People probably don't, don't even know he has a signature shoe if he's not wearing them. Um, and if they don't market them, you know, like, they don't have commercials for all of, all of them and the, on all their kicks and stuff like that, at least that I've seen. And and then the other half of it is what about um, Jordan Brand clothing? Hey, Lola. What are you doing, Lola? Uh, what about Jordan Brand clothing? Like, if you have a D-Wade shirt or whatever or a, um, a Mellow shirt, like, how well is the clothing going to... to um, okay, welcome, welcome, Lola. Uh, how well is the clothing and everything... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this dog is nuts. Um, going to sell basically if... Uh, God damn it! I'm, I've totally lost my train of thought now. There's a there's a pug butthole for you guys. Uh, yeah. Anyways, how, how well would the the clothing brand actually sell if the uh, if the shoes aren't even selling? You know what I mean? So it, it comes full circle. And you better not step on my kicks again. This chick uh, stepped on my uh, my kicks in one of my other videos for, as well. Like <laughs> she's crazy. Anyway, uh, again, shout out to J Star. Great great conversation. Really follow this guy's uh, channel. Uh, anytime he has a video, he always has some some uh, some cool stuff to say and uh, constructed, and I really really dig that. And and uh, yeah, that's that is it on that. But on a side note, um, if you see the kicks in the background, I'm going to be doing a different video uh, the next day, and it will show these kicks. And it's basically going to be a discussion about uh, original colorways versus retro colorways, or excuse me, original colorways versus uh, new new colorways like the Superman's right there. Um, and uh, and then I also have a uh, video after that, that I'm going to be doing with this. It's a brand that my buddy owns that I'm going to be giving away uh, this t-shirt right here. It's a uh, um, Evolve with F Love t-shirt and kind of after the uh, the cement uh, colorway and stuff. Kind of a cool t-shirt and I got a hat as well for it somewhere around here. But anyway, have a good one guys and check back for more content. Thanks uh, for uh, listening to me babble for a minute and um, subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't subscribed and maybe if you guys uh, like the content, give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.